Today I'm going to go over how to refresh your rub rail. If uh, you're like any typical boat owner, there's probably some dings, um, just fading, aging of the rub rail. Um, this rub rail is 20 years old. It's actually in pretty good condition, so there's no need to replace it, which is a pain in the butt by itself. You can actually see how to do that in this video when I did the uh, 13 restoration, and <laughs> that was a lot of fun. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You can do it with some of the household chemicals you may have around, or you may invest a little bit in getting some. It won't be a lot. And let me go ahead and get started. But before we do anything else, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and get notifications when I put up future videos. All right, so it's time to get started. Things you'll need. Um, I like to do a little bit of a pre-wash. Probably not necessary, because we'll be hitting it up with uh, stronger chemicals later. But I'll use Dawn with a little bit of ammonia, and I'm going to do that right now. Go around the whole boat rub rail, and probably in the, uh, the top here. Clean it up, rinse it off, and uh, run a blower on it. It's stupid as it sounds, dry it off some. Then we're going to go into the actual um, refreshing or renewing of the rub rail. So let me go ahead and get started with that. So this is what it looked like before I started doing this and let's go on and show you what it looks like afterwards. So you can see that a lot of the scuffing is gone, got a nice shine to it and UV protected. So let's go ahead and get started and show you how I got here. So let me give you a quick overview of why I like to wash this stuff down, especially with a stiff brush. It's because most rub rails are composed of multiple pieces. This one has this insert, which I think you'll find most rub rails do, and dirt and stuff can get caught in there. So as long as I'm going to try to refinish these or give it a nice new finish, um, let's get all the dirt out of there. And that's the main reason I use a little bit of soap with ammonia and um, Dawn to get all that cleaned out. Probably not needed, but I want to go ahead and dry it off using the old uh, dry your motorcycle after a wash trick with a little handheld blower. Alright, so it's not completely dry, but it's dry enough to go on to the next step. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what the next step is. Alright, the next step is actually just using acetone. Now you can do it with a rag. Or you can do it with some four zero quad zero steel wool. Um, my preference is to use the rag if it's just lightly oxidized. It literally is taking the top coat off of this thing. Um, it's dissolving it, and I'll show you how, the, how that looks like in a second uh, with the rag. But if you have some really bad scuffs that are fairly deep, then you might want to use the the uh, quad zero. Some people use quad zero around the whole thing. It's just a personal preference. If you want to do that, you can go ahead and you can go ahead and do that. So let me show you what it does with the rag. Let me give you a close-up here. See there's some light oxidation all along here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rag. And these rags are probably permanently ruined because this PVC, this plastic, whatever it is, tends to come off on it. And just by rubbing it with the rag and the acetone, you can see the difference here. Now look at that. Hopefully you can see the difference between here and here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do the whole boat uh, with the rag. Then what I'm going to do is go back and if there's any spots that need it, because the scuffing is uh, pretty deep and the rag's not doing it, I'll hit it with the quad zero steel wool and acetone. So here we go. I'll do this in fast motion so it won't take up too much of your time. All right, so what I found is that the oxidation on the rubber rail is so bad that the rag in most places is just not cutting it. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is hitting it with the quad zero uh, with acetone, then just following with the rag to smooth things out so there's no blotches or streaks left behind. Once I get that done, I'm going to apply some sealant to it and try to give you some close-ups, see what it looks like once it's been cleaned up and the oxidation removed and a sealant applied. All 
All right, now for the final step, and that's going to be adding a protectant of some kind. Um, you've got two options. One of them is the vinyl protectants that are um, that you can get at automotive stores. Uh, I prefer the Meguiar's. I use it on my truck. Uh, the other thing is a wax, a marine wax. Uh, 3M makes a really great wax. And uh, I'm going to do both of these and show you the difference. Which one you use is up to you. You can even use two. Maybe put the protectant first, wax after, however you want to do it. But my preference is actually the wax, and the reason for that is that when I go over this with acetone, it's going to strip some of the wax off the gel coat. So getting some of the wax back on the gel coat is important as well. So let me go ahead and do both. The protectant I'll spray onto a uh, rag. This one already has some on it, but and then I'll just basically wipe it on and get it into the crevices as best I can. Now it's not going to shine as much as you see here when it dries, but uh, let's give that a shot. Then the wax, this one's a little bit more difficult to work with because if you uh, get it too goopy it'll fill in the cracks. And Kind of make a mess. I'll do a little bit of overlap. So you've got a section here that's going to have both wax and protectant. Again, it's your choice which one you do. And there you go. Really not much of a difference. Uh, I think the wax side looks a little bit better, but uh, that just might be me. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the whole boat. I'm actually going to go ahead and put the protectant on, let it dry, and then put a coat of the wax on over that. And, uh, that should give me plenty of protection uh, with uh, UV protection against the sun. And uh, give me at least a season's worth of uh, nice clean boating on my road rails. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, hit share and like. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the button right there. Thanks for watching.